what's up guys welcome to the new man cave i just recently purchased a home and and what you're seeing now is uh my bike up on the jack stand for one but i'm in my new garage which is pretty much bare bones so bear with me as i go through this tutorial for you uh what i'm currently experiencing right now is uh an issue where my bike kind of slightly pulls to the left or right during my ride and not so much during a straight line but when i get on an incline such as a freeway overpass that actually turns out and about um, i can feel the bike pulling in a certain direction and uh, this kind of has me on ease so today i want to kind of go over a few things with you about how to resolve this issue maybe you've made a few changes to uh, your rear chain or your tire, you've loosened that up, or maybe you, like me, uh, have went ahead and did a fork job and uh, didn't quite get that set right. So we're going to be exploring a uh, few things here that can possibly alleviate the issue of your bike either pulling to the left or right during your ride. So stay tuned while I go ahead and uh, show you the tips and tricks on how to alleviate this problem. So for today's tools, what you're gonna need is either a tape measure or a set of veneer calipers, a good stiff drink, a smoke if you got it, and a whole lot of patience in order to diagnose the issue that you are experiencing. All right guys, so what I got here is a set of veneer calipers and you can purchase these on eBay for real cheap, anywhere between 10 to 15 bucks. And it's a great tool to have in your toolbox, especially if you're doing little minute uh, increment changes and you want to measure something real small such as uh, the flange on your uh, master link or measuring the distance between something and getting a really fine tuned in dialed in uh, account for that measurement so with my veneer calipers I'm gonna go ahead and measure the distance between the aluminum block here of the adjustment plate and the rear of the uh, bike frame and this should account or give me an account of the distance between here and here as opposed to the opposite side. Now, uh, if this is off, that, that means that that center spindle is going to be off. It's gonna be slightly kicked out at an angle and giving us the chance of a pull in either the left or right direction. So with my veneer calipers, I have it set to millimeters. I'm gonna go ahead and zero that out now and take a measurement of this. So at this time, I'm measuring 16.92 on the left side of the bike. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and flop over to the other side and take a measurement of the distance. Now, I know a lot of you are saying that or probably thinking that uh, the bike does have lines uh, built in here to give you an accurate measurement. Uh, some people do and uh, may or may not trust these lines. Uh, I've heard a lot of, you know, there's a lot of mixed reviews on this. And... Um, Yes, uh, it, it all comes down to your eyesight and uh, whether you feel it's a good enough adjustment or not. But the most accurate way is to go ahead and get yourself a, a set of veneer calipers and take the measurement and see it for yourself digitally what that measurement is. So we're going to go ahead and move it on, on to the other side. Right now we got 16.93 on this side. Let's see what we have on the other side. All right guys, so I'm on the other side of the bike and I'm gonna go ahead and take my measurement. If I go ahead and place this up right now, I still hold the 16.93 and I can see that I am off here. This is slightly over. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it and see just how far off we are. And at this current reading, I'm reading somewhere in the lines of 14.26. So we are kicked out at a slight angle to the left. This may be the reason why the bike is pulling to the left side. Let's go ahead and take a look at some other things that we may or may not have an issue with. All right guys, so I'm standing in front of the bike or sitting in front of the bike and I'm looking at a dead on view of the tire itself. Now, I'm not sure if the camera or if you can see this on the camera, but the bottom of the tire area 
is slightly kicked in a little bit. And this leads me to believe that my forks are not properly aligned right. They're not sticking out at the top of the triple tree uh, correctly or at an even mark. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take measurements of this, but I do have the, the tire aligned perfectly straight. And I'll show you how I uh, came to that conclusion as I go ahead and sit on the bike and give you a different view. But as, as it stands now, it, to me, it looks like the bike tire, the front tire, is kicked in at a slight angle. And this may be a reason why that the bike is pulling either to the left or to the right at certain angles. Let's go ahead and look at that now. All right guys, so what are you looking at is from the rider's position and I tried to align my steering perfectly straight, making sure everything is dead center. And in order to come to this conclusion, what I've done is I went ahead and aligned the bike as, or the front tire as straight as I possibly can via the, the triple tree here. And I'm taking a measurement between here and the tank and trying to get it as closely related to both sides as I possibly can. And uh, right now I'm currently measuring somewhere in the lines of from the tank to the bottom of the tree, roughly about two and a half inches on both sides. Okay, two and a half inches on both sides. And this one's slightly over, so we're going to go ahead and move the bike or the handlebars over, adjusting it. Now, I'm using this as my reference point right here, making sure that this is butted up against the uh, stem here and giving me my distance between the tank and here as best I can to ensure that I am dead center. Okay, so with that said, we're going to go ahead and measure um, everything from this point on. All right, guys, with our handlebars aligned as perfectly straight as possible with our measurements, I went ahead and, and marked off the center point of the bike with some Home Depot construction line yarn. And uh, you can purchase that from Home Depot or your local home goods stores if you want to. But moving up to the bike, you can see that I have marked the center line or center point of the bike according to the fairings and as we move down you can see that everything is pretty much perfectly aligned until we get to the portion of the mud guard or fender flare and you can see that uh, we are off center a bit now um, to truly confirm this most if not all uh, tires do have a center point line that is kind of exposed uh, that you can see there you can see the center line and we are not dead center and this may be uh, another factor that may be the reason why we got to pull to either to the left or to the right side now as I travel down you will be able to see that center line point and how far we are off now just recently I had performed uh, fork seal uh, replacement. Uh, the freeways out here are treacherous and uh, I blew a fork seal and I replaced it and I might not have gotten my forks aligned correctly. Uh, my bike has a, about a one inch drop and I may not have gotten the forks aligned correctly and I may need to go ahead and adjust that. So if you have a, a drop on your bike, this may be a reason why that your bike is pulling either to the left or to the right. But as you can see now, we are not in that center line. We are off about half of an inch to the left or right, depending on what side of the bike you're looking at. All right, guys, so let Let's inspect the height of the actual distance from the triple tree to the top of the fork. 
And I'm going to go ahead and measure this out right now. Now this is uh, kind of subjective because I have this carbon fiber piece right here. But normally you would mark from the top of the triple clamp to the top of the fork. And as we see here, I am roughly about 13.78 millimeters high, as you can see right there, okay? Uh, let me see if I can get a better angle at this. All right, so roughly about 13.78. Let's go ahead and make, take the measurement from the other side. All right, so taking our measurement from the other side, uh, we can see that we are a little short on this side, so we're going to go ahead and raise it up to we get to the top of the fork. And we are 14.82, so we do have a little bit of distance here. And now your bike may or may not be this high, depending on if you have it lowered or not. Uh, usually these sit more closer to the bottom down here. And But because I have a one-inch drop, we have to account for that as far as lean angle is uh, concerned. So uh, I do want to lower these down because I did raise the spring up in the rear to give me more of a cushion as I ride through these uh, rough roads or freeways, I should say. But uh, you want to make sure that the forks are even on both sides on the height. Now, just because these are even doesn't mean that they're actually sitting on the lower part of the triple clamp uh, at an angle. So because I want to lower these, I'm going to go ahead and make adjustments to both top and bottom. And I'm going to lower these down a bit to give me to take away from that front side lean angle because it's murder on my back. And um, maybe hopefully uh, this will alleviate the problem of uh, the pull to the left or the right. All right, guys, so one last thing to consider if you have a strong pull to the left or to the right is your rebound and your compression settings. Now, if you're like me who just had a recent fork job done to one specific fork, which was my right fork, um, you got to remember that you have new oil, new fresh fork oil in, in this one and an older um, used fork oil in this one. Now you ha always have to make sure that your rebound settings match exactly. Now if you have an issue where you have one rebound uh, adjuster that is uh, off or doesn't uh, quite align with the number of turns out or in then that has to do with the way your fork was rebuilt and it has to do with the inside nut that's in here and uh, it wasn't properly adjusted right. So if you go ahead and adjust these and you find that your number of turns do not equal the same on both sides, then that has to do with the way the fork was rebuilt and you might actually have to go inside there again and uh, reset that setting inside there so that they match and according to specs. So if you have a pool, it might be to, due to the fact that uh, your your rebound setting for either side is off. They, you have to remember, we always have to make everything match equally as best as possible. The same goes for your compression settings down here what you set this to uh, as far as turns out um, must match the other side or you're going to get an uneven balance uh, in the way the, the shock handles. So at any rate guys, uh, in my next tutorial I'm going to go ahead and show you how to go ahead and perform these jobs and hopefully alleviate, alleviate your problem with the pull to the left or to the right. As always, guys, I'm The Chemist. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if you're feeling generous, the donation link is in, in the descriptions uh, section. And um, as always, I'll see you next problem.